Hey, what is going on everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to the channel. In this quick and awesome video, I'm going to show you how you can screen mirror your Redmi phone to your Samsung TV. And this is not an Android TV, by the way. So we don't need any third party apps. It's completely free and it's by far one of the simplest method. And it's really, really smooth as well. As you can see, there is no lag. So let's just dive right into it. Hey, what is up, everybody? All right, so before we uh, before we get into the video, I just wanted to say this method will work for any Android phone you have. In this case, I have Redmi phone, so this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be closer to the Redmi users. But if you have any other Android phone, this will work just the same. Okay. All right. So the first thing you want to do on your Android phone is really simple. Just make sure your phone is connected to your home Wi-Fi. Just go to the settings and go to your uh, Wi-Fi settings. As you can see, my, uh, my, my Android phone is connected to my home Wi-Fi. Again, if you don't have home Wi-Fi, I'm going to show you another way, but I prefer, I would recommend you use your home Wi-Fi. As you can see, my phone is connected to my home Wi-Fi, but let's say if you don't have home Wi-Fi, you can always use your mobile data for personal hotspot. By the way, be careful with the mobile data. Depending on your network, this might not be free. I mean, they will cost you credit if you if you overdo it or maybe just overuse it. So just be careful with it. I don't know what network you have, what data plan you, data plan you have, so just be careful with it. But I would recommend you use your uh, home Wi-Fi. That way, it's just really easy. That's, that's about it. Now let's do the same thing on your TV. All right, so as you can see, this is a a 11 years old Samsung TV and again this is not an Android TV so the first thing you want to do is to go to your uh, settings page as you can see really simple go to the network settings and if you have if you if you have done this before or rather if you have connected your TV before to your Wi-Fi go to the status or if you have never done this before go to your network settings I'm gonna show you all the way so just go to the network settings and make sure your TV is connected to that exact same network that is connected on your uh, Android phone. As you can see, my TV is now connected to my home Wi-Fi, as I showed you before, and that's pretty much it. That's all we need to do. By the way, if you have Android TV, just skip this part because this is an old TV, so we have to make sure the TV is ready to be mirrored to. So just go to the network settings and find the screen mirroring tab. By the way, if you wanna know if your TV supports screen mirroring or not, I will be linking that video and the article in the description box below, so be sure to check it out. Go to the source and enable the screen mirror mirroring manually. As you can see, it's enabled. Now it's ready to be mirrored to. Now what you wanna do is just, just bring out the phone and let's do this. All right, again, make sure, the, uh, make sure your phone and your TV are on the same network, okay? All right, so now what you wanna do is to go to the connection and sharing settings. This might be different for uh, a lot of Android users. Just It just works the way, it's just a different menu, okay? So don't worry about it. By the way, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. All right, so find wireless display. As you can see, I have wireless display in my connection settings, obviously. And as you can see, it will automatically scan the Android TV. As you can see, I have Ritz TCO that is an Android TV. Since Samsung is not an Android TV, so you have to enable the wireless display setting. As you can see, once, the enable, once you enable the settings, you have the option for the Samsung. Just click on it and it will automatically connect your Android phone or rather Redmi phone to your TV. Pretty, pretty neat, right? Well, I'm going to show you a lot of stuff. I'm going to show you, I mean, you can, it's really smooth. As I said before, no third party apps. So it's everything is built into it. You don't really don't have to download anything for this. And it's really awesome. You can, you can watch YouTube if you want to. You can play games if you want to. I'm going to show you how to play games too. I'm going to show you how I play games, by the way. But again, you can watch YouTube videos if you want to. You can do a lot of stuff. Again, you can even uh, listen to music if you have to. So um, you can play games, watch TikTok, watch YouTube. I mean, you can do a lot of stuff. I'm talking a lot, a lot. By the way, it all it will also go full screen if you have full screen app or the game that you want to play. So in this case, this is not a full screen app or the full screen game, so it's not gonna work. But again, it's really smooth. As you can see, I'm playing game. Not really good at it, but it's just it's awesome. And uh, well. Wait for the. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna also I'm also gonna show you how to disconnect. So just stay tuned. Stay tuned till the end. So yeah, it's pretty pretty simple. All right. So now how you how you can disconnect is really simple as well. Go to the connection and sharing settings again. 
go to the wireless display settings again. Now, if you want to connect to another TV, you might want to just click on your TV and just click on disconnect. Or if you want to just dis disable the wireless display altogether, all you have to do is just click on disable and that's it. That's how you mirror your Redmi phone or rather Android phone to your TV. Well, I'll see you in the next one.